Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC17 in Denver, Colorado, and this afternoon we're at the IBM booth with Adel. Adel, I understand that IBM has something very new and exciting to share here today. What is it? Yeah, hey, Rich. Um, well, actually, today is the announcement of the first instantiation of our Power9 server family, the accelerated computing uh, Power9 two socket to you box. So we got real hardware here today. Yes, we've got real hardware. We've been talking about this for some time, but today is finally here. So Adel, what makes this machine special for this HPC crowd here? Right, so it's the first instantiation of our Power9 box. And um, fundamentally, we look to design a box that's balanced throughout. Ensure that there's no trade-offs for these compute intensive workloads, such as HPC or, or deep learning. Right, so ensuring that we've got balance across the box, whether that's you know, the most powerful CPUs, the powerful accelerators, but ensuring that you know, there are no bottlenecks or trade-offs to be made across the memory bandwidth, across the network, and across the entire system as a whole. So when you start with this balance thing and you scale it, does that mean better performance for the end users? Absolutely, right? It means not just better performance. So we've brought coherency across our memory bandwidth. So program simplicity is a, is a key value here, or a key... Uh, a key imperative here because um, now you can, you know, you no, no longer need to be confined to the GPU's memory, right? So you no longer have to make trade offs in terms of larger models or more complex models, which is extremely relevant to the HPC workloads and the deep learning algorithms. So now you can treat the entire system memory as unified memory, right? And cache directly from the system memory onto the GPUs. So it really provides program simplicity for these large, more complex models. Well, hey, you know, you've got the thing here. Could you kind of take us on a Absolutely. tour and show me more? Absolutely. So it all starts with this bad boy over here, the Power9 socket, right? That's the actual uh, CPU. Um, it's got uh, 22 cores. It's got uh, four threads per core, so 88 threads per socket, 176 threads per box. So a very high level of parallelism, which is very fundamentally important to HPC workloads and deep learning workloads. So that's just the socket. Um, two of these sockets within the system, um, we've also got 30% um, more memory bandwidth as our previous system. Um, actually, and 30% more than the competition. We've got essentially um, eight memory channels per socket. So, Adel, is this standard DRAM in here? Or yes, what is it? it is standard DRAM. We actually got eight um, memory channels per socket. Yeah. Uh, that's actually 30% more than what the competition has. Typically, they have um, six memory channels per socket. So we're increasing that, ensuring that, like I said earlier, as your CPUs get more powerful and your accelerators get more powerful, we're feeding the beast, as we oh, like to say here. Right, right, right. And then I see you got liquid cooling really cleverly kind of integrated here. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and as a matter of fact, we've got liquid cooling. Uh, this is our six GPU box. Mm -hmm. And so, as I said, you know, we've got more powerful CPUs, more powerful GPUs, a lot of heat packed in this two-socket system. Yeah. So by integrating the cooling system, we're essentially removing about 70 to 75 percent away of the of the heat dissipation okay. from the actual okay. system. Are, are these the uh, NVIDIA V100 GPUs? Yes. They are. So the state-of-the-art V100 Volta Tesla GPUs. Okay. And actually, um, because of our partnership through the Open Power Foundation with NVIDIA, this isn't just an assembly of componentry together, right? We've co-designed these interfaces together with NVIDIA. Actually, we're the only ones that have a unique NVLink CPU to GPU interface, right? The next generation NVLink um, interface between the CPUs and GPUs, something we've co-designed to them, in addition to having NVLink between the GPUs. So something that's very unique and something that's very relevant here provides um, anywhere between three and a half to five and a half times the bandwidth from CPU to GPU. So as I said earlier, right, as these accelerators get more powerful, we want to ensure that we keep them busy, right? You want to make sure you drive the efficiencies in your system. Well, uh, is this what the node will look like for uh, Coral? Yes. It, okay. Yes. So, so this is the first instantiation of the system. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the systems that go into Coral, um, and we're super excited, right? Um, one of you know, again, uh, they're not just buying a single node; they're buying right. them in the thousands, right. like two hundred petaflops worth. Right. right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And you know, as I was telling you earlier, um, you know, ensuring that we've got balance across the system is fundamental to our strategy. Yeah. Uh, we're the first ones to implement PCIe Gen four uh, for oh. the network, right? Okay. And so with coherency as well. Um, we're removing the IP protocol from the network, right? Okay. And maintaining that Gen 4 speed okay. uh, throughout. Um, um, what so, Adel, I wanted to ask you about the interconnect because this is like a system in uh, a Coral. We're talking about a lot of nodes and high speed and stuff. What, what's in here? Yeah, we've got the InfiniBand EDR interconnect, okay. right? Um, essentially, 
you know, applications such as HPC and deep learning require a lot of, a lot of data, right? Um, and essentially for MPI, that provides more efficient MPI. So what we did with distributed deep learning of scaling to 256 GPUs at 95% efficiency a couple of months back, I mean, we're super excited to see just how much we can scale with that kind of efficiencies with these new systems that we have. Well, this is very exciting to see this in person, and I just want to congratulate you because uh, I, I think we're going to see a lot more of Power9 systems like this. I, I agree, and I look forward to you know, seeing what the world's going to innovate, what the world's going to do with these systems, and look forward to meeting you as well. Uh